And who's not excited for high school football? This guy sure is showing off his dance moves. I don't know whether to laugh or be impressed. We're both firing up the crowd. Crowd wouldn't need much help though. First quarter, firing, finding his man. It's Owen Fallen, the quarterback connecting with Jarrell Horn. You haven't heard the last of the two of them, especially Horn. If it works once, why not do it again? Same drive, let it this. Horn the catch on the pass by Owen Fallen. And I guess if you mess with the Mavericks, you'll get the Horn. The end around, touchdown, Freeman and the Mavs. Take the early seven and nothing lead on a well orchestrated drive. That highlight reel brought to you by Jarrell Horn. Seven nothing with 7.42 to go in the first. Prince George, they went to the ground game and this guy had a heck of a, a game. Curtis Allen with the carry, good enough for a first down. It would lead to this. Special teams would play a big part in this football game. And the Royals could not connect on that field goal as a Freeman defense would stiffen, so it's still 7-0 ensuing possession. Guess what they're going to do? Yep, you got it. It's Owen Fall into Jarrell Horn. This guy is a playmaker, and Freeman plans to find him all season long. 7-0 after one. Same drive, second quarter. The field goal attempt by Ty Bowman is true. And just like that, the Mavs have a two-score advantage, 10-0. No, they're not playing the Mustangs. They're playing the Royals. I know it says Mustangs on the scoreboard. Uh, Royals trying to come back. I said timely defense, right? Well, there was great defense right there. Nice breakup by Kareek Bullock. Playing in the backfield. And then Royals said, you know what? Let's just go with what we got in terms of our best production. Let's keep it to the ground. Curtis Allen with a big run there. That would lead to this. Quarterback calling his own number. Senior, oh, Captain, my captain, coming back. Tahir Johnson is to gone. Johnson finds Pater. And just like that, Royals right back in it. We got a 10-7 ball game. 9.41 to go in the second quarter. And yes, they're not playing the Mustangs. Again, special teams. Freeman forces a punt. And then number 22, Cam Tucker, is going to tuck and run. And he's going to find pretty good uh, field position. Nice return. Gets the Mavs on the right side of the 50 in Royals territory. It would lead to this. Freeman says, we can run the football too. Going through tackles is Kyle Smith. Just a few plays later, Freeman. Look at this. Fakes out the camera guy and the defense. Number 21, Macho Santiago. He's also a great baseball player. He finds the end zone, touchdown Mavs. 17-7, that would be the score. 121 to go in the second. We go to the third quarter, Royals. The screen pass. It's Curtis Allen, have yourself a night, my friend. Who's a leading yards guy on the squad. He had the most yards of anyone on offense for Prince George and feed the beast. Curtis Allen, end zone. I mean, that's a great name for running back, isn't it? Curtis Allen, it just sounds Sounds like it fits the mold, doesn't it? 17-14 after three. It's anybody's ball game. Royals driving in the fourth. Just down three, remember. It's Allen. Allen with a host of Mavericks on him. Gets about 15 yards and a first down. It would set it up for this. Field goal for the tie. No. Wide left. So it's still 17-14. Four minutes and change to go. Last chance, Royals. Take a look at the pressure on Tahir Johnson. Great job up front by Freeman. Usually he pays dividends in the secondary, and it does. It's Manny Harris, and Manny leads the Mavericks to victory with the Oski. Freeman wins their opener. Final score, 17-14. That's your final.